Please, viewers, since the financial crisis, the role of finance in society has been questioned by many and trust in the financial industry was eroded. Still, finance is key to support economic activity and to fuel growth and job creation. Now, how can the industry help to restore trust and have society recognize the contribution it makes? This is MNC Business Special Dialogue with UBS. I'm Erwin Suryabrata. Business fewer emerging markets around the world, including Indonesia, offer considerable opportunities for banks, insurance companies, and fund managers to increase global market share. Economic growth in the emerging markets, as we know, are fueling the emergence of an educated middle class that aspires for sure to achieve a more affluent lifestyle in which the traditional depository, let's say credit, insurance, and investment products could play an important role. As we can predict, the expansion of this middle class is expanding global demand for financial services from established providers and represents a new opportunity for financial services companies around the globe looking for the growth. We have the report for you.
are watching MNC Business Special Dialogue with UBS and we have Mr. Stuart McKay as the Managing Director for Strategic Client Coverage at Asia in UBS. Mr. McKay, thank you so much for your time, really appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Elmo, appreciate it. Welcome to Jakarta. Thank you. Always First of all, yes, I would like to ask you actually what brought UBS, especially silly you coming to Jakarta? What special occasion or event do you actually have with MNC? Well, our special occasion uh, tonight uh, is we are having our eighth uh, annual Indonesia conference. Uh, and we are uh, having a, an event uh, that is being hosted by MNC this evening uh, for all of the uh, corporates uh, and all of the investors who have been attending our conference. Uh, it's, a, it's a great conference. As I said, it's in its eighth year. Uh, we think it's the sort of number one conference uh, in, in the country. Um, and it goes from strength to strength. We have a great lineup of, uh, of uh, international investors coming. It's over 150 investors have turned up this year uh, and over 50 corporates. So that's and a special I see. And while you are here representing UBS in Asia, uh, will there any specific agenda you would like to bring up with the MNC here in Jakarta? There's, there's no particular agenda. Um, we think that we always enjoy seeing the fantastic content that MNC produces. Its competitive advantages have always been in the programming uh, and its talent, and we're well aware of its well-known programs. Uh, so we, we tend to get to see, show the investors uh, a flavor of that uh, later on tonight. So I'm sure everyone's looking forward to that enormously. So basically just relax a short visit to Jakarta and enjoy this kind of uh, uh, convenient meeting with the business people here in Jakarta as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. I mean, I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's several days worth of meetings uh, for the investors uh, and for the corporates. So it's proper work. Um, but I think what they get to experience here tonight uh, will be uh, a welcome, uh, a welcome uh, variation uh, on the other days. I see. Since you already start mentioning the word investors, I've been wondering about this. You, especially, especially uh, representing UBS Asia, how do you see the investment climate currently in ASEAN, especially Indonesia? Okay. We, uh, we continue to remain very positive on ASEAN. Uh, as we do for much of, much of Asia. Uh, we have a, a very strong business down here. Um, we think that the, the fundamentals of ASEAN uh, remain very strong uh, and the fundamentals of Indonesia remain very strong. And what do we mean by fundamentals? Uh, we mean that the, the population growth is strong, uh, the economies uh, appear to be uh, in sufficiently strong shape to allow uh, that growth in the population to flourish to work, to help the economies grow, uh, and we, we think there remains very strong investment opportunity uh, for equity and uh, bond investors, international investors in Indonesia. Apart from the positive that you just shared about Indonesia, on UBS standpoint, how would you define actually the word conducive business and investment climate? But if you don't mind, maybe we can keep it for the later session. Thank you for the good start, Mr. Mekin. And make sure you are still with us. We are on MNC Business Special Dialogue with UBS.